Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I'll be sharing with you how to start transportation business in Nigeria. On this channel, we talk about business and making of money. If you are somebody that loves business and making of money, please subscribe. And please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. To my returning subscriber, you guys rock. So today we'll be discussing about how to start transportation business in Nigeria. Transportation business is a very lucrative business all over the world, including Nigeria. People are cashing out massively from this business. People need to move from place to place. And without transportation, it will be very, very difficult. There are different means of transportation. We have the road transportation. We have the water transportation. We have the air transportation. But in this video, we'll be focusing more about road transportation. Road transportation is a very lucrative business also. We have different means of road transportation. We have tricycle, we have Okada, but we'll be focusing about motor transportation. Car transportation is a very lucrative business. And if you engage in this type of business, you are going to earn massively from it. Let's say for an example that you bought a new Siena bus. You want to use it for transportation. We know that Siena bus normally carries seven passengers or more. And let's say each passenger pays 1,200 naira per a trip. 1,200 naira times 7 will give you 8,400 naira. And for that particular a movement, you want to use 3,000 naira to buy foil. Let's say 8,400 naira minus 3,000, you will have 5,400. So that particular trip, you have already achieved 5,400 naira. And let's say for that particular day, you want to go for four times. 5,400 naira times 4 will give you 21,600 naira. So you have already achieved 21,600 naira for that particular day. Let's say you have other expenses. and uh, Your expenses is 4,000 naira. So let's minus 4,000 naira from 21,600 naira. Then you will have 17,600 naira. So in that particular day, you have achieved 17,000 600 naira. So a month you'll be earning 528,000 naira in a month. Let's say you have other expenses like for motor repair, motor maintenance. Let's say your expenses for that particular month is 100,000 naira. Your additional expenses is 100,000 naira. So 100,000 minus 528,000, you have a whopping sum of 428,000 naira for that month. So 428,000 naira per a year. So that is 428,000 naira times 12. We give you 5,136,000 naira for that particular year. So this business is a very lucrative business. You will earn massively from this business if you engage in this type of business. It's a massive business that you are going to earn massively from. But before you start up this business, there are steps that you need to follow before you start up this business. One of the steps is, this is the stage whereby you need to decide on the type of transportation you want to carry out. You know we have different means of transportation, but in this particular video, we'll be focusing about road transportation. If you have interest about other transportation business, you can comment on the comment section. But in this particular video, we'll be laying more emphasis on road transportation business. So our next step is location is also very important in this business. Before you start up this business, make sure you make a research, make a proper research. As drivers around, you can go to park, ask them, if I follow this road, will it be profitable? If I follow this road, will it be profitable? They are into this business for a long time. They are going to guide you on what to do. They are going to show you the more profitable road. Once you'll be able to identify a profitable road, then you can go for it. It's very necessary. Don't just go and start any road you see. There are some roads that are not profitable. You just waste your fuel. So you need to focus on more profitable roads. It is very, very necessary. So you need to make your proper reset. Make a proper reset before you start up this business. So our next step is... If you really want to start up this business, you want to earn a lot of profit from this business, you need to go for a brand new car. If you are not financially buoyant, you can look for someone to buy for you, for higher purchase. You are still going to earn massively from this business. This business is a very profitable business. It is a win-win situation. 
if you buy it yourself, you drive it yourself, or you look for higher purchase, you are still going to earn massively from this business. So our next step is, before you hit the road, you need to get your necessary document ready. You need to get your driving license. You need to register with the necessary union. It is very, very important. Once you have done this already, then you can hit the road. If you want to register with the park, with a park, it is okay. But if you don't want to register with a park, you want to be carrying passengers along the road, it is also okay. But it is more profitable if you register with a park. Then you are sure that you are going to get customer on a daily basis basis so it is very necessary that you get the necessary document it is very important before you hit the road to avoid unnecessary harassment so our next step is be a professional driver if you are thinking about starting this particular business you need to make sure that you are a professional driver if you don't know how to drive perfectly you need to go and learn how to drive it is very important so that you won't cause casualty in the road so go and learn how to drive before you start this particular business. Transport business is a very lucrative business. If you engage in this business, you are going to earn massively from it. But if you want to start up this business, make sure that you are a professional driver. It is very, very important. Don't just go and hit zero just like that. Make sure that you are a professional driver. And make sure you start this particular business with a good motto, good car. Don't start with a motto that is not good. It will give you issues. So it is advisable that you start with a good car so that you can be able to enjoy this transport business and be profitable in this business. It is very, very necessary. If you want to start up this business and you are not financially buoyant, you just want to start it. There are some people that can start up this business with three or four cars. They want to open a park on their own. If you are not that kind of stable, you don't have that kind of capability, then make sure that this, you just want to start with a single car. Make sure that you drive it yourself. It is very, very important. There are some of these drivers, they usually lie a lot. They will tell you that police arrest them on the road. They are the motors where uh, tire bus. So if you start it by yourself, you will be able to have all this type of complaint. So you'll be able to have the 100% profit. So it is important that if you are starting with just one car, you don't have any other side also you are doing. This is your main business. It is important that you start it by yourself. It will be more profitable if you start it by yourself. So this is how you can start up transportation business in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, guys. Bye.